On the far right, you are seeing the U-Perfect 4K compact display. Yes, you don't see a lot of these in 4K resolution, and man, does it look good. And we're gonna go ahead and play some YouTube videos, but we're also gonna play some games, and we're also gonna check out the touchscreen, because this thing is not only 4K, it's touchscreen, and it's 300 CDM brightness, so it's really hitting a sweet spot. Now, the price tag might be a little high for some people, but being able to do 4K and having something to, you know, shoot your Nintendo Switch or your new PlayStation or your new Xbox, or like I'm doing here, just mirroring my computer, or even the latest and greatest smartphones can take advantage of that 4K resolution while also taking advantage of the touchscreen to play things like PUBG Mobile and other games in high, high resolution. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check it out. Portable monitor, ultra thin. So they claim this to be one of the slimmest 4K portable monitors out there. And when I say portable, a lot of people get upset about that because they say technically it doesn't have a built-in battery, which they're right, but it's just really easy to move around. As far as cables, you get two USB type C cables for your monitors, a mini HDMI and a power cable and a power brick. You'll see the brick in just a second here. It does come with a standard warranty and a screen protector free of charge are included in the box. So there are the speakers in the back. It's uh, stereo speakers, two watts, two dual two watt speakers. That stand stays at a 90 degree angle. There are six rubber feet on the stand and the stand does not get larger than a 90 degree angle. That's as far as the stand will go, how you see me have it stretched out. You do have the um, an auxiliary in, a micro USB, and the uh, menu button, and then you have two USB Type Cs and a mini HDMI. The menu system here is a touch screen menu. You have many options from changing the actual color accuracy to changing into the preset movie modes, turning free sync on or off, and turning HDR to auto or on. You can see here I am mirroring my smartphone. Um, and what's so cool about this monitor is you can actually turn the monitor on its side and it will automatically go to a landscape or a uh, portrait mode. Now this thing does have a 10 point touch screen and it is 4K, that's why it is so amazing. And uh, here's me playing an emulator, but if you do wanna play this with like a Raspberry Pi, as long as you have a USB type C connection, um, older Mac OS's will work, the newer ones I hear you might have some trouble with. But um, any kind of uh, newer Android smartphone, um, anything else that could do USB Type-C, you're going to have no problem at all. So from the beginning of the video, I've now switched the two monitors. I have the U-Perfect on the left and I have my Vistles M1 on the right. My Vistles M1 is only 1080p and it's, uh, it's 50 or 100 CDM less, so it's not as bright either. I have these both on the standard connection uh, or as far as settings and um, you know the standard lighting, the standard, uh, it's not in movie mode or anything like that. And uh, the HDR and the FreeSync are set identically. And as you see here, the image on the left is just much brighter, much more clear. You can see a lot more details. And that's what you expect from uh, a 4K monitor, especially one that has a higher brightness. But they're both IPS panels, right? They're not uh, OLED or QLED or anything else like that. Um, and so you could just see the difference. Uh, they're both 15 inch monitors. So, you know, the size wise, they were similar. Now, Counter-Strike, here you can see me up in the resolution. Now I'm not a 4K gamer. I've always went with a higher refresh rate. And now that 4K is becoming cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, it's just amazing to me. And this is why I picked this up is just to see like all these details are much smaller. Like for example, in the upper center, the timer and the death count and the team and your teammate icons, they're just so small. Um, I'm very impressed, but you can still see the detail. That's the thing is, you know, you're just able to see so much more on your screen. Um, and so you're able to have a lot more information that you can actually take in. So it gives you, in my opinion, it gives you a lot more real estate, which was kind of cool. Um, and you'll see here now that I'm on a browser, just browsing around the internet and using YouTube uh, it's just a really interesting experience. I liked it. I thought it was really good. So final thoughts on this is this is a future-proof monitor. If you don't need 4K, don't get this one. Uperfect actually has a really nice uh, QLED monitor that I reviewed a few weeks ago. It was awesome. I highly recommend that. It's even brighter than this one. It's really nice. But if you want to do 4K, you want to watch like YouTube videos like this in 4K, 
um, and really see like the pores on people and that and that detail, then this is the one for you. If you if you got a PlayStation Five, if you have a new Xbox, I mean, you spent all that money on the system. You definitely want peripherals to go with it, and this is definitely one to take with you. If you're taking this on business meetings or to people that are very important, just think that having something really nice can help a lot. Now, as far as my downsides to this is the price tag and the fact that this is going to consume a lot more power than a non 4K monitor. So you will probably want to keep this plugged in a lot of the time, but um, it's still super light. It's still super compact. It is easy to put around in a backpack. Build quality is excellent. Really nice aluminum uh, body and, and nice bezeled edges. It's you can tell it's a premium product. So for that, two thumbs up. But that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.